Shannon, why would Dan Tony say this? He's trying to take the pressure off him. As Joy was reading in the read, Skip, mm -hmm. best record. They're going to probably have the MVP. Yep. The Warriors are more, more vulnerable now than they've ever been in, in this three-year run they've been on trying to make it a fourth final. Mm -hmm. They're more vulnerable. And for you to say, well, if we don't win the title, our season not. Yes, it is. Absolutely it is. Mm. Because your general manager, all he's talked about mm -hmm. was chasing down and passing the Golden State Warriors. Mm -hmm. if this might be the best opportunity you've had or yes. will ever have. That's true. And for you to sit there and well, stand or however you was giving mm -hmm. this interview to say, well, if we don't win the title, it won't, it won't be a disappointment. It absolutely will. Because and he used the analogy of Steve Nash, you know, it doesn't diminish him that he didn't ring, he you know, he didn't win a ring because he won two MVPs and he had an outstanding three or four years. Yep. It also lets him off the hook. Because who was that coach skip during those three or four year period of Steve Nash? Yep. With one Mike D'Antoni. Wow. And everybody says that's a great seat, uh, uh, offense or a great system in the regular season, hmm. but it does not equate to wins and titles mm -hmm. in the postseason. Yep. So he was also trying to get himself off the hook also mm -hmm. by mentioning Steve Nash. Nah, bro, I'm not letting you off the hook. Yep. It's title or bust. Mm -hmm. You got the best record. You got you wanted home court. You got it. Yep. You got the MVP. No. Without yep. a title, you'll see all you did was win a bunch of games for not. Hmm. So, the NBA spotlight is about to be the brightest and the hottest on your man LeBron James yes. and on James Harden and on CP3 and on their coach in Houston. Those yes. are the four people who got the spotlight right now because, as Joy pointed out, they just went 65 and 16. That's, that's pretty great. That's a top, top 20 record, right? And I, Yes, it is. And I agree with you. He was trying to take a little pressure off a James and a CP3 who have consistently come up very small in the postseason. Correct. Smaller than they even are. And yet, I think he, it just served to build in an excuse that they just might need because if they draw Oklahoma City in round one, I think they're in trouble, and they still could. It's mathematically possible. Right. I don't know how it's going to fall. But let's quickly look at these three people. So James Harden as a rocket, not as a thunder, but just as a rocket, he did make it to one conference finals against Golden State in their first title run. They lost in five games. And his, as a rocket, he is 20 and 25 in the postseason. And last seen in the playoffs was game six against my Spurs in Houston, the closeout game. And they're still looking for him in Houston because yeah. that was just flat out pathetic. Lost by 100. Ugh. And that was without Kawhi or Tony Parker. Correct. Really? Wow. Then Chris Paul, his record in the postseason is 33 and 43. Really? Is that great? Is he no. all-time great? 33 and 43, and Chris Paul has never, ever played in a single conference finals? Not one. Mike D'Antoni has coached in two against my Spurs back in, what was it, 05, and then the Mavericks, 06. And Robert Bacic mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you saw a hip check. Yeah, there was some controversy in that There game. wasn't no controversy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was some controversy, you but know. still. My Spurs did, did get a break in that game. I, I'll give you that, but still, he lost in – five and in six games to those two, to San Antonio and Dallas. And yet, has he consistently coached small in the playoffs? I think he has. Mm -hmm. And would I want him coaching my team in the playoffs when he's like defense is an afterthought for him? Uh, I don't want him coaching my team. But now he's got the team in the Western Conference, right? They should be Skip, favorite. You see, you, now, it was reported today that uh, – and Bob Mute is mm -hmm. going to miss he's, the first round with a shoulder dislocation. That is not good because he was a guts premier and glue guy. Yeah, he's a premier defender. Yep. But, Skip, you win 65 games. You're going to have the MVP. You added CP3. Yep. And you mean to tell me if you don't win a title, it's not a disappointment? After all that, after your general – think about it, Skip. Your general manager for the last three years – all he's talked about mm -hmm. was the Golden State Warriors. Yep. That was the model. We have the team to beat them. We can match their firepower offensively. Mm -hmm. And now here comes Mike D'Antoni. You're going to talk about, no, well, if we don't win the title, it's nothing. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yep. That's why you play. And now, we're not saying um, you can't be a great player mm -hmm. if you don't win a title. But – any, all those guys that didn't win a title skip, they're not in the discussion for greatest of all time. Mm. Nobody brings up Carl Malone. Nobody brings up Charles Barkley when you talk about greatest of all time because they don't have a title. Mm. They're great players. But for Mike D'Antoni to say, after winning 65 games, you're going to have the MVP and you add an uh, all-star, uh, all-NBA type player, and you're going to tell me 
that if you don't win the title, it's not a disappointing season, mm-hmm. man, you need to stop playing. Mm. So last Saturday night, I watched the Oklahoma City Thunder go to Houston, and it sure looked like the Rockets were trying. I don't know what their incentive were. motivation were, but it looked like they were trying, and it looked like Russell Westbrook and company just took over the game in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. And I would see more of same if it ends up Oklahoma City versus Houston without Mbamute in yeah. the first round. I would pick the Thunder to win that first-round matchup and knock the Rockets right out of yeah, the Yeah, because anytime you're going to be playing these teams, Skip, you're trying to send a message. Mm-hmm. You can't beat us. Yep. Every time we play, y'all trying to send a message. You can't beat us. Mm. Now you and they, I, I can see if they're in their building, but they came to your building and beat you. So they feel real comfortable if they have to play a game seven. Oh, we've been here before. We've done it before. They would. Yep. And they know what my Spurs did in that building in a closeout game six last year, right? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, they ain't, y'all ain't they ain't got no Kawhi. Mm. Oh. Mentality is everything, and that um, is a weird thing to say going into the playoffs. Yeah.